Hello, Reds. Victor Lindelof provided boss Eric Ten Hag some relief with his first goal in three years as Manchester United defeated Luton 1-0. But the win has not come without a cost, with Ten Hag banned for United's next Premier League game. Meanwhile, Paul Sekoles bemoaned Man United's lack of creativity in their 1-0 win over Luton Town. They got the job done, Sekoles told Premier League Productions. It wasn't a great performance, as we've seen, probably didn't create as much as you would have liked. Luton made it very difficult for them throughout the game, but it's job done. They've won the game and hopefully now, they have a nice little break for a couple of weeks and come back and find a bit of form. On the other side, Ten Hag working overtime. Eric Ten Hag is putting in extra time at the training ground as he tries to get things right at Manchester United. The under-fire boss has caught out staff at United's Carrington base by arriving before 7 a.m., then staying on long after the players have left. Sometimes he goes home in the afternoon for a couple of hours, returning to work until 8.30 p.m. A source said, Nobody can accuse Ten Hag of a lack of effort. He's been coming in very early and leaving very late, sometimes not leaving until 7.30 p.m. Sometimes he's there so early he's catching the security and kitchen staff on the hop elsewhere. Greenwood future considered. Getafe have turned on the charm to persuade Mason Greenwood his future lies in Spain. The striker joined the La Liga side on loan in September, as Manchester United ruled he could not play for them after he was charged with various offenses. Greenwood denied all the charges and they were later dropped by the CPS. He was farmed out to the Spaniards on transfer deadline day to try to rebuild his career away from the spotlight and he has bagged three goals and two assists in nine games, settling into the Spanish way of life with his partner and baby daughter. The 22-year-old remains a United player and is under contract until 2025. But Getafe bosses are hoping to prize Greenwood away from Old Trafford sooner and plan to open talks for a deal. On the other side, Ten Hag on Hodgland injury. Eric Ten Hag has spoken about Rasmus Hodgland's injury. The Danish striker was forced off with a hamstring injury. Ten Hag said after the game, In this moment I can't say anything about it, I don't know. We did an assessment, we have to wait for 24 hours what the conclusion is. Again and again. The Man United manager hailed a good day when speaking to Match of the Day, but was frustrated his side couldn't score any of their first half chances. He said, It is a good day. We needed the win and we got it but we could make life more easy by scoring early on and getting a second. We created the chances, but we didn't score apart from one. I am happy with that and I am happy with the clean sheet. We had many chances before halftime and you should net one of them. After halftime, get the second and then the game is gone. Now you keep them alive and they can get an equalizer from balls dropping in the wrong place. The manager was also full of praise for Rasmus Hoylund and, despite a couple of glaring misses in search of his first league goal, insists the goals are not far away. He said that, Rasmus Hoylund has scored five times in the Champions League. He has the confidence and the goals will come. It would be better for composure, for the calmness, for the manager, the coaches and the team if we score early on, but if you don't, you have to keep going. I have to compliment the team that they kept going, kept organized, and didn't give anything away. Meanwhile, match winner speaks. Victor Lindelof was pleased to chip in with the winner today and identified where he and his teammates must improve. He said, I don't score that many goals, but it's always fun to help the team, and today it was the match winner. I think we played well in the first half, and after we scored the goal, the levels dropped down a little bit. I think that's what we need to improve. So, more injury woes. Two more injury concerns for Manchester United today, who'll be glad of the international break. Christian Eriksen went off in the first half with a knee injury, before Rasmus Hoylund departed in the second half with a hamstring injury. Worrying signs again for the United boss who was without several key men today. Again and again. Eric Ten Hag has taken positives from the Copenhagen defeat. Until Marcus Rashford's 43rd-minute red card, it was probably United's most coherent performance of the season.
the Dutchman, the result was not in our favor against Copenhagen. We are very disappointed, that's clear. But the important thing to remember is that we played very well in the first part of the match. We scored two very good goals and we controlled and dominated the match. The red card changed everything. We have already talked about it. We must not forget it. These are also our mistakes. But what I want to remember, that's the first part of the game. That's what we have to keep for the next game against Luton. Meanwhile, Manchester United want to sign two defenders in January, according to reports. Fabrizio Romano claims the club are looking to reinforce their defense. A lot will hinge on whether Ratcliffe's deal has gone through by January or not. On the other side, Bruno Fernandes must show character. Dimitar Berbatov Dimitar Berbatov has said it is the right call for Bruno Fernandes to remain as United captain but said he must show character. He told Betfair, I don't know Bruno as a person, and he needs to have other qualities to be a captain other than just his ability on the pitch, like his character, the way he talks to his teammates when they need to be talked to. Overall, though, he needs to stay as the captain. It's not the moment to continue to talk on this topic. He is the captain and will remain so. I'm sure he's trying his best to motivate his team, to push them forwards and be there to score important goals and make assists. You could see the emotion pouring out of him after he scored the goal against Fulham. The whole team were jumping in front of the fans. It shows you the stress United are under to get results. You score that dream goal to give you the three points in a boring game, but you know it's important. You can see that it lifted everyone. Elsewhere, back-to-back 3-0 defeats to Man City and Newcastle left Eric Ten Hag in all sorts of bother before an injury-time winner over Fulham appeared to keep the Wolves at the door. But the midweek defeat to Copenhagen, having been 2-0 up, was exactly not what the Red Devils needed at this time. They've lost 5 of 11 Premier League games to now. They cannot make it 6, again and again. Manchester United's injury crisis deepened yesterday after the severity of Johnny Evans' injury was confirmed. The club have confirmed that Evans will be out for at least a few weeks. Evans, 35, has become an unexpectedly important part of United's side despite being signed as a backup. He has managed to relegate four-time Champions League winner Rafael Varane to the bench. Meanwhile, Ratcliffe to invest more than Sheik would have. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is set to invest more money in Manchester United than his bidding rival Sheikh Jassim would have, according to reports. And that's despite Ratcliffe only purchasing a 25% stake in the club. Despite only making a minority investment, Ratcliffe is expected to be given the reins to control the footballing direction at the club.